Wait a minute. You know, whatever. Okay. No, I just feel like just a smidge. There. A smidge, my ass. No, leave Stop. it. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Nigga, you always touching it. Leave it alone. Okay, hold on. Let me clean my glasses real quick. Damn it. No, no who touched it? I didn't even touch it. I just tapped it. <sighs> What's up, y'all? Y'all know what the deal is. And um, <laughs> y'all know this video, we're going to give it to you raw, uncut, no chaser. So if you got kids, get them out the room, put some earphones on. First of which, hey, bitch. How you doing? Hey, skank. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind telling myself and the viewers where you've been? Where you been, thing? too? Well, where I've you been, been on the freaking channel. Where yeah, the hell you been? Yeah, I mean, you do your hair thing. But, right. I, I mean, but other than that, I mean, I've been busy with school. So, I mean, um, you know how it is. Yep. College life, uh, get caught up, and I'm trying to pass, in which I am. Yes. So, uh, so we have Alicia. <laughs> So all y'all women out here begging to see Alicia and asking where she at, y'all can stop asking. I'm just saying. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I appreciate my fans and, you know, thanks for asking about me. I'm all right. Okay, just, we, we do we through talking about you. Let's talk about what we actually came up with. What you to been up about. to? We don't got, even do it. Don't we, do that to me. We ain't got time for that. Let's get into it. Man, the how topic. you going to talk about me then? What I've been up to? What you been up to? Back and forth of North Carolina. Yeah, you ain't say that, did you? No. Can we start the video and Go talk ahead. about what we're going to talk about? I don't want to sit there and make this a 17-minute video. Okay? They don't care. All right. So, we're going to talk about this little Mr. C situation. The whole thing has kind of died down. It's, it's so funny how it just kind of came and went yeah, as fast as it did. It. Like, it's just not a big deal. It's just... Like, nobody cares. Because everybody's out of the closet. I mean, <laughs> everybody's coming out of the closet in the entertainment industry. I mean, actors, singers. Oops, can't say rappers because, yeah. But, I mean, everybody coming out and nobody cares. It's your business. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to, um... Okay, let's start with this uh, bimbo bitch. I mean, Miss <laughs> Miss Bimbo. I didn't uh, say Ryan that. House. I really don't. I really don't care for I don't give a fuck. I ain't got no respect. I don't fuck with bitches like you because you a, a trifling, oh, wow. dirty, messy ass queen. And it's just Damn, like, you really going in, ain't I you? I am because I feel like when people look at people look at me, they look at people like him and be like, oh yeah, he just like him. Like, True. no, I don't. True. Okay, I don't know this bimbo person, but I mean, just based off the one video that I did see, I just. I like it, how he started the video. It was kind of... Whatever. <laughs> he just rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I just... It's, and don't get me wrong. I'm not against outing someone. I feel like you're justified in outing someone when there are persons involved that are don't know about the situation and can, are potentially at risk. In that regard, I'm okay with people being outed. But the way he just went about outing Mr. C was just... Like I said in the comments before, very distasteful um, and just real malicious. I mean, you, I mean, when you say about it, like he was, might as well say you saying he's wrong for doing that. I mean, what did he do? No, he I was mean, just wrong about the way he went doing it. Like, as in what? Like having a camera in the car? First of all, being a prostitute and catching him in the act of doing it, distasteful. <laughs> and then doing the shit. Outing the way, okay, just outing him on the internet just to get views, True. get exposure, just trying to publicize yourself and make yourself big. It I just mean, that is that is wrong. Yeah, I, mean, I, I just I didn't like that, and that rubbed me the wrong way. Um, you know, it is what it is. Whatever. I, I just so, can't I mean, fuck with people like that. I'm I'm just just messy in general. Fuck messy ass queens. Just I mean, he do people. seem like he'll fuck you over though if he's your old friend. He he seemed like he will. Like, no one's gonna want to fuck with you now. Cause, yeah, true that. Cause, I mean, come on now. I mean, yeah. I agree, but move on. So, Mr. C and his interview with uh, the radio show. Um, What did you think about it? You crying? I mean, you crying for no apparent reason. You crying because gay community... We know what's up. We know what you are. And you crying because, I mean, it's true. You just, I mean, you're afraid to admit it. I just, 
I don't even know why you crying. You just need to shut up. <laughs> oh and like I was going to say, you need to shut up and let your gay flag fly. Ain't no telling how many times you done did this and stuff. You probably got caught, what, three times. But throughout these whole years, there's no telling how many times you done did this. <laughs> and I don't know whoever, your girlfriend, your wife, whoever, I don't know if she knows, if she cool with it. But if she don't know, then that's straight up, that's wrong. I mean, because yeah, you bringing I mean, back something to her. Because I know you're not getting tested. That is a big-ass grasshopper. Anyways. um, That is not big, man. Man, that, man. man he, get off my shit. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really, though? And he really? flying this bitch. Really? I'm going off. Okay. Um, All right. Oh All right. Just God. stay on track. You know, the, the whole him crying and stuff. The, the heartfelt emotionals. I wasn't each. feeling the bullshit. I'm just gonna keep you honest. It, it must have been so hard for you. It must have been so hard to just having to go out late at night and find you a prostitute while you have your unsuspecting girlfriend and children at home. It must have been so hard. It just I don't. I feel your pain. No, I don't, bitch. I Anybody don't. who <laughs> fell for them fake freaking tears, you stupid as hell. I'm just gonna keep it real. You dumb. It's hell. If you believe he's so sincere, he's sorry, like, no. He done did it. Ain't no telling how many times, like I said before. I mean, the dude loves it. He's <laughs> gay. I mean, you can get head or whatever from your girlfriend or whatever for a female, but the fact that you like it from a man who dress like females, obviously you're attracted to that. And you need to let it be known. I mean, not let it be known, but you need to come to one with yourself. You love it. It's, it's not about about labeling him, his sexuality, gay, bisexual, whatever. But it's just, he's in denial. Like, just own up to what the fuck you are. Mm -hmm. Like, I just don't understand how, in one sentence, you can say you enjoy receiving head from men that dress like women. But then, in the same breath, you talking about you ain't gay, though. I, or, I don't get that. I, I really don't get it. The whole time he was saying, I'm just picturing him getting some head from some dude, and then... Somebody asking him, are you gay? And he looking at while he getting head talking about something. No, I ain't, I ain't gay, gay, though. I ain't gay. <laughs> I just... Like, that I just, shit is funny. I mean, that's the funniest shit I've ever, like, heard I mean, in my life. You... It's, it's sad, but that's, like, the mentality of a lot of DL men is, like, they're in denial and about like it. like I said before in the past video about DL men, I still don't have no respect for him. I don't have no respect for Mr. C. But the problem with... The whole Mr. C situation is not the fact that he's gay. Like, no no one gives a... F I mean, gay, bisexual, whatever. Because, you know, we use gay to describe everybody. It's not the fact that he's gay. But it's the fact that he's sleeping around with... I mean, not sleeping. But getting head from nasty prostitutes. And it's I believe, just... I believe he's been doing this for years. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I mean, he had to be. He got caught, like, years ago. <laughs> years. What you mean? Like... Um, ugh. I don't even know who Mr. C was, to be honest. I still don't. I don't really I still know. don't give a fuck. I don't think... It, <laughs> I think that's the reason why nobody really is making a big deal out of it. Because, I mean, it's like, okay, it's Mr. C. You know? Like, I mean, I, I don't mean... If it was, like, one of these rappers or whatever came out, maybe they would give a, give a fuck. Maybe they won't. I don't know. It's like... The way this whole world is, is like people, they make stuff big and some of it don't. I mean, I don't, I don't know. That's just like yeah. Lil Wayne coming out. Honestly, I don't, you might as well say he came out, he kissed the freaking other man in the lips. Now, what I will say is that I do have respect for the fact that he's taking this whole situation and he's trying to turn it into something positive with his um, recent PSA about being... Really? Man, Grant the photo. <laughs> you know, whatever. Out, Basically, but... what he was just saying is, you know, he was just telling people, you know, be true to yourself, be sexually free. I don't like how that sounds. I don't even understand, I don't even understand this. So what you mean, be sexually free? But, like, don't don't hide and try to conceal yourself. But you still and... hiding, nigga. You ain't say shit. He came out about it. Saying what? That he like getting hair from men. Did I he mean, say that? No. He did say that. When? Where? I haven't. He I've, said that in the interview. He didn't say he was gay, but he so did. So he say, said he loved getting head from men. Not necessarily that he loved it, but that he got it. And I wanted he, to come out your lips. I love getting head. Okay, look, you asking for too much men. now. He don't admit to the shit, and you know, like I said, 
He's taking this negative situation and trying to turn it into something that is positive. So for that, I have respect for him. You know, he in the PSA, he was basically saying, you know, be honest with yourself. Don't confine yourself in your sexuality because it just it causes problems for yourself and your loved ones and the people, other people that you're sleeping with. And also, you know, protecting yourself with STDs and stuff like that. So that's the only ounce of respect that I have for him at this point regarding this whole situation in the beginning I felt strongly about the whole thing but now I just like I really don't even care that much I feel the same <laughs> way. I'm, just, I'm over the situation I mean and I wanted to say the reason why we're making such a big deal about him admitting to himself that he is in fact gay, homosexual, bisexual, whatever you want to call it, or whatever he is, because we can't really speak for him, is because he's still clinging on to that sense of denial, and that is part of the reason that he's in this situation to begin with. And a lot of DL men carry that denial with them because they feel like, okay, well, I'm just getting hair from a dude, or I'm just doing another dude he's not doing me so that don't make me gay so everything i'm doing right now is justified so and and that's completely not the case but that is why we're making this such a big issue about it and people might think we're stuck on the whole oh he didn't admit he gay and stuff but it's it's bigger than what you think it is i'm, I'm over it bimbo i'm over you too honey <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta say i mean when he was getting that shit i mean that song was um, I like it. I don't understand the freaking stuffed animal with the wig on, but you know, and then everyone kept, you know, trying to correct me. He's not transgender. He's I don't gay. Know what it is. He just he's a drag queen. If you go out in public and you're portraying yourself as the opposite gender, then you're transgender. Not necessarily transsexual, but you're portraying yourself as the opposite gender, and you're a crossdresser. So that categorizes as transgender. I mean, he might be gay, just like you can be straight and be a drag queen. I mean, it is what it is. Whatever. I'm over it. I do want to get back to us doing videos together and talking about different topics. We don't want to just talk about the gay stuff. We want to talk about any and everything that you guys are interested in yeah. hearing our opinions yeah. about. So let us know, and we'll try to make that happen, okay? Um, I know we always promise that, but y'all know what it is. All right, so... We love y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all again later soon. And until then, be blessed. See you. Bye.